we are going to see the lesson how do we reproduce this is the lesson of class 10 from the subject science reproduction entails nothing but the producing the new species like us or like itself so what is actually reproduction reproduction it is the process by which all organisms multiply in number and they produce the species like themselves. So, there are many different types. Mainly, there are two types, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction means only one single organism is taking part in production of the new species. And in sexual reproduction, two organisms means male and female species are needed like themselves and they produce specific gametes means male organism produce male gamete and female organism produce female gamete when they rejoin they produce uh, means new species means firstly they produce the zygote zygote divide and redivide to produce the embryo and from embryo development takes place to produce the new species so here from this we can see the actual definition of asexual reproduction. So what is the asexual reproduction? It is a method of reproduction that individuals means only one organism is taking part and this single organism reproduces two or multiple organisms on its own. This is seen in all microorganisms. Means, if you will see here, these unicellular organisms like bacteria, viruses, some species of algae, they are uh, showing the asexual type of reproduction. So, what is sexual reproduction? The mode of reproduction that involves two individuals. One is male organism and other is female. They produce the sex cells or the gametes which choose to form a new organism. Thus, by these two processes, they show the formation of the new species. Now, there are many different types of the asexual reproduction. So, one by one, we will see about these asexual reproduction types. First one is fusion. What is the meaning of this word fusion? means breakdown and what means about what breakdown takes place here fusion is an asexual reproduction that is common in most of the unicellular organism when the fusion means reaches in two daughter cells it is binary fusion the meaning of the word binary means two by means two for example in case of amoeba this fusion process takes place but actually it is binary because this is single cell of amoeba it is called as parent amoeba from this parent amoeba cell when it attain the maturity at that time elongation of the nucleus takes place at the center of this it is nucleic acid and this nucleus elongated and it start to form the notch in the nucleic acid material when completely this notch forms the two nucleic acids or two nucleus, then this cell start to produce the notch from its membrane and thus slowly slowly it get inserted and two individual organisms are formed. That is from single cell, two cells or two amoeba are produced. From parent amoeba, two offspring or daughter amoeba are formed. Therefore, this process is called as the binary fusion. So, here we can see that in case of amoeba and paramecium, this fusion process takes place that is a sexual reproduction takes place. Uh, as well as plasmodium, it shows the formation of many cells. So, it is multiple fusion. This planes of fusion may be different for the different organism. Means it may be double or multiple. So here multiple and binary fusion takes place. Now 
second type of asexual reproduction is budding bud mating is with small bodies form only part of that same organism so budding is a type of asexual reproduction in which a small cyst like structure is formed here this is the example of hydra in this organism of hydra small cyst formation takes place when it attain maturity then this cyst grows first it depends on the parent body afterward when it again develop and redevelop and it falls down on the soil or in the water and thus it start to live the independent life thus bird is formed and that bird shows independent life therefore this is called as the body so bird may remain attached to the parent that is is to say or may separate and become a new individual that is in case of the hydra is here are two examples where budding takes place one is the yeast cell and another is the hydra so in case of yeast cell when cyst is formed or bud is formed on the parent organism then it remain attached with the parent but in case of this hydra when cyst or bud is formed it do not remain attached to the body but it get fed down and it start its individual uh, life therefore this is called as the budding now another type is regeneration and fragmentation from there means many of those words we can easily understand the regeneration and fragmentation regeneration is the process of means allowing back the lost organ or body part by the organism means in this case if any body part or organ get lost or it get break down then again this organ is produced by that organism that is called as a regeneration and what is fragmentation means when any body part get break down fragments are formed from that small unit or from that small fragment new species of that organism is produced so regeneration is the process of going back to the lost organ or body part by the organism in case of lizard you know the best example of the lizard many time tail of the lizard get broken down but that tail part of the lizard again regenerated therefore this is called as a regeneration and in case of fragmentation the process by which an organism gets fragmented means broken down into the small parts and that small part of uh, that uh, body each piece grow it into the same individual or whole new organism for example hydra so this is the process in which fragmentation takes place when body get fragmented into the pieces then each piece of that body again start to live life of individual organism so this was about fragmentation and regeneration in hydra fourth type of asexual reproduction is spore formation so in case of the fungi that is for example nuker spore formation takes place means the spores these are formed in the sporangia in the favorable condition of the atmosphere this sporangia means fungi part get broken down and from it many spores comes out when these spores here is the sporangia and these spores are present inside when it break down at that time spores fall down in the soil or air and when it get mature in the favorable condition again they start to form in individual species so organisms such as fungi make spores that can grow into complete new individuals when dispersed from their fruiting body here fruiting body means sporangia 
and the sporangia get broken down when these spores get mature. And in variable condition, these spores which are falling down in the soil or air again they show formation of a new individual species. Last type of asexual reproduction is vegetative propagation. Mostly this part is occurred in case of the plant. So we have seen many different plants whose stem, root, leaves, these are used for the formation of the new individual species. You are knowing the examples of sugar cane. In case of the cane sugar, we are using the small birds or small part of the stem. When we sow it in the soil, then that same small part of the stem again you know, form its individual species. So, this is the type of sexual reproduction in the plant and the part of the plant like leaves, stem, roots give rise to a new plant. Vegetative propagation can be artificial or natural. Means artificial means it is man-made. In case of the grafting, we are using a stem or tuberose and these are used for the formation of the new plant. Natural vegetative propagation happens through the leaves. For example, bryophyllum. In case of bryophyllum, from the leaf margin, small leaves are produced and when they fall down, they form the new bryophyllum species. In case of the stem, means you are knowing the turmeric. In case of the turmeric, there is storing stem and from that storing stem, new turmeric plant is produced as well as ginger. That ginger also shows the vegetative propagation from the stem. Runners means grass. Runners means from small part of the grass, it again grows into the big, in the big volume that is grass plants are produced. Then stolen that is grass runners, then strawberry, they are showing the vegetative reproduction as well as bulbs of onion, lily, they are also showing the vegetative propagation. What is artificial method of vegetative propagation? It includes cutting, grafting, then layering and plant tissue culture. This all were the types of co-sexual reproduction.